should you act actively or passively while trading this is what we are going to discuss in episode 13 of trading psychology series from market secrets on how to become a successful trader if you haven't seen the previous episodes please watch it and then come back to this video just click the link on the top right corner of this video to open the first episode of the series also please subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session without further ado let's begin being an active winner and loser this is our topic for discussion today some people believe trading is like gambling it is not in a gambling game you have to participate to lose and do absolutely nothing to stop losing if after one bet you don't put another bet on the table you will not lose there is also no way you will win but at that point if you don't place another bet there will be no risk obviously in trading it is very different you must participate to get in a trade and you must participate in other words do something to cut your losses if you do nothing the possibility exists that your entire account can be wiped out and even that won't stop your losses if you still do nothing although at that point your broker will most likely participate for you by getting you out of the market in gambling you know exactly what your risk is and the game always ends before the next one starts but in trading you don't know beforehand exactly what your risk is you may have an idea but even with stop loss orders there is always a possibility of slippage but the real big difference between gambling and trading is the even never ends as the market keeps moving a good example of an active winner and loser might be person playing blackjack at the casino you must make a conscious choice to play and risk your money when the game is over the rules force you to be an active loser if you want to play and risk your money again you must place another bet without another bet you can't be a loser again you must actively participate to lose and do nothing to stop losing this is exactly opposite of trading this is why in trading being an active winner and an active loser is so important but because the even never ends it is easy not to be an active winner and loser there is always the possibility no matter how slim of the market coming back in any trade you are in you don't need to actively participate to get back your losses you could simply stay with the trade and let the market come all the way and give you back your losses because of this reality there is always a constant temptation not to cut your losses cutting losses for many traders is painful so many choose to avoid the pain and not be an active loser they simply think they are in a winning trade that has yet to show profit or we will look at only the evidence that says our position is right and ignore rest of the evidence against that notion these are obviously traits of someone who is not an active winner and loser but being an active loser as well as an active winner is the only way to be successful again the temptation to not cut your losses is always there but it will do nothing but get you in trouble successful traders know that cutting your losses actively before they get too large and unmanageable is the only way someone once told me to make money trading you can't sit on your hands basically what that means is you need to do things like getting yourself in and out of winning and losing trades to be successful in other words the way to make money trading is not only act in your own best interest but to actually act and do things to help your trading that means when a trade is going against you you really can't sit on your hands and do nothing you must cut your losses instead of hoping the market will come back and when a trade is going your way you must act in your own best interest by being an active winner trial your stops to lock in profits cover your position when it reaches your target instead of looking for a home run this is what being an active winner and loser is all about don't sit on your hands so what do you think about being an active winner and an active loser let us know your thoughts in the comment section of this video also hit the like button if you have liked this video 
and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload any future videos or conduct live sessions. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day.